I watched all of the Planet of the Apes movies, and here is my ranking. In last place, I have Battle for the Planet of the Apes. This, to me, is just definitely the weakest one. It's clearly cheaper. They don't have the budget, so I get it. But it's just the weakest one, although it's not a good villain. The time jump makes no sense. In 10 years from the last movie, all of a sudden, apes have taken over, and it just doesn't seem like it makes sense time-wise. So yeah, 10th place, Battle for the Planet of the Apes. In 9th place, I'm putting Beneath the Planet of the Apes. I think this one has some cool ideas, and I like the ending, but it just seems a little ridiculous, and I don't like that they added the super smart humans. It takes away from the apes being the primary species I've, it, to me it's like oh there was humans the whole time it seems kind of like a cop-out but like i said i like the ending and i do think it's better than battle four but i do think it is the second weakest one hence why it's in ninth place a lot of people would probably put this one lower on the list but i'm putting the tim burton planet of the apes in the eighth place spot i do think it's a little overhated yes it has its problems i'm very aware of that but the main reason it gets higher than the other ones is the makeup is incredible. The apes actually look like apes. Tim Roth's performance is really good, as well as Paul Giamatti's. But yeah, there's some weird things like Mark Wahlberg and the ape lady like nearly banging. It's a little bestiality, a little bit too much. But I like this movie more than a lot of people do. Next on the list, in the seventh spot, I'm putting Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Now, this is a good movie, and it's a good origin story. It's a good opening to the new series of the Planet of the Apes. But I do think it's the weakest of those four, and there's other movies in the original series I like more, so I'm just going to have to put it here in seventh. And in the sixth place spot, we have Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, the newest film in the series. And it's the beginning of this new trilogy without Caesar. And I was a little skeptical going into the theater, but I did like this. So it gets the sixth place spot. In the fifth place spot, I'm putting War for the Planet of the Apes. A lot of people would put this near the top. This is a lot of people's favorite one, I think. And don't get me wrong, I like it. It's really hard to rank these, though. I love the villain. Woody Harrelson is so great in this. There's a part where he's like... You monkeys better build me that wall. Oh, he says something along those lines. Anyway, I think it's hilarious. I like this movie, but yes, fifth place spot for War for the Planet of the Apes. In the fourth place spot, I am putting Escape from the Planet of the Apes. I really like this one. It's a cute little fish out of water story. It's basically the opposite of the first movie with the apes coming to Earth and them being the minority. Uh, I think that's a really interesting way to do it. And the way that the movie before this ended everything blows up so it's like how are they going to make this work the way they make it work is with a time machine with time travel of course uh so yeah i thought it was a really creative way of doing it and i love the villain in this very underrated villain good movie fourth place escape from the planet of the apes and in third place i'm putting dawn of the planet of the apes it's my favorite of the new series the villain koba is so solid i just love this one it's a great showing of caesar's character probably my favorite of the whole caesar trilogy but yeah dawn of the planet of the apes in the third place spot i am putting conquest of the planet of the apes in the second place spot i just really like the way this one plays out it shows the revolt of the apes and it's just always really interesting to me you could argue that the makeup isn't as good it's a lot of wearing masks for the extras because the budget just wasn't there but i don't care the story is great caesar is great i love this one so much second place conquest of the planet of the apes i don't think anyone is going to be surprised by this but of course the number one ranking goes to planet of the apes the original 1968 movie starring charlton heston it's just so perfect iconic lines get your hands off me you damn dirty ape as well as the great villain, Dr. Zaius, the amazing ending. There's just so many things that make this movie perfect, and it still holds up today. So yes, the number one spot goes to Planet of the Apes. Let's go.